Good morning, or indeed good afternoon or good evening, depending on where you are in the world, from all of us at COM100 in Vancouver, Canada. Thank you very much for joining this webinar today on COM100's new live chat design improvements, and I do hope this will be a helpful and interesting session for you today. Um, so my name is Kay Chapman. I am Content and Client Training Manager here at COM100, and I'll be hosting today's webinar. I'm also joined by my colleague, David Carlson, who will be demoing our changes today. Uh, David, would you like to introduce yourself? Perfect. Thanks, Kay. Uh, well, good morning, good afternoon, good evening to everybody. Uh, pleasure to make everyone's acquaintance, for those of you that I haven't chatted with personally. Uh, I'm really excited for today's uh, webinar, and I think we'll be able to present some, some great features here on uh, the updates and upgrades here at COM100. Thank you, David. Um, I am very excited to be presenting today's webinar. Um, all of the changes that we've made are the outcome of an awful lot of work on our end to try and improve our live chat interface for you. So I'm excited to show you exactly what's changed. Um, so today uh, we will be covering, uh, firstly, why we decided to make some design changes and the facts and the evidence behind them. I'll be giving you a quick introduction to our new chat window designs, three nice new designs to replace the default chat window that was there before. I'll be running through our new adaptive chat button and I'll explain a little more about what that actually means in just a moment. I'll also be running through our new method for proactively inviting customers to chat. And I'll also be showing you some other improvements we've made to our chat window, including some new banner images, avatars, and some new backgrounds and textures. After that, I'll be handing off to David to show you exactly what these changes look like in action and where you can find them in your live chat dashboard. And finally, we'll open to any questions that you might have. So, firstly, why did we decide to make these changes? Well, at COM100, we are very aware that you need a modern looking, engaging chat interface to help your website look similarly modern and engaging. Looks are important, and in fact, a recent study found that up to 94% of first impressions of a brand are design related. And in fact, another study found that 75% of consumer judgments on website credibility are based on aesthetics. Because your website needs to look credible and inviting to your visitors, we understand that the look of your live chat system needs to look just as good as the rest of your website. And we do hope that with these improvements, you'll be able to engage and convert even more customers. So let's move on now and take a look at our new chat window designs. So firstly, our classic design is the design that you will have defaulted to after the change. It has a clean, boxed interface. It's fairly similar to the design we had before, but it just looks a little bit nicer and tidier. Our circle design is the second option for you if you're thinking about what you'd like your chat window to look like. It features a more rounded window where your team names and avatars really do take center stage. And finally, our lightweight design offers a more minimalistic look and feel. It doesn't have a boxed interface, and it instead displays chat bubbles directly on your website. It's quite a modern look, really. So these three designs give you much increased customization options to fit the look and feel of your site, whatever your business type and industry. Um, I personally love the, the two newer designs we've added, the circle design, the lightweight design. Um, lightweight in particular mimics a lot of messaging apps, um, things that your customers will already be comfortable with using, be confident with using. So let's take a quick look at our adaptive chat button now. So firstly, what, what is adaptive? What does it mean? So when we're talking about an adaptive chat button, the idea is that this chat button adapts to different types of screens or devices, whatever their resolution. And in terms of what it looks like, well, it features an animation um, that's quite eye-catching without being too big or flashy. Um, what we didn't want was to have something that took up a lot of screen space that maybe got in the way of your customers browsing. So we very specifically designed this to be quite eye-catching without being annoying. 
Um, and you can see here, um, it does feature quite a nice animation. Um, we'll show you a little bit more what that looks like in just a moment. So let's take a look at our new proactive chat invite design. So our new chat invite style integrates with our adaptive chat button to show the invite within the chat interface. And the look and feel is maintained regardless of whether chat invites are sent automatically or manually. And you can see the two examples of that on the screen here. Uh, you can also minimize chats in this design. And when you do minimize chats, you'll notice that there's actually a message count uh, displayed next to the adaptive chat button. Really helpful for your customers to see that there's chat activity happening there, even if they might be looking at something else on the site. And finally, we have made some other improvements as well. We do have some new banner images in our gallery, uh, basically photos of teams that you can use to humanize your chat a little um, and to put a friendly face on your chat service. We've also introduced a new chat window backgrounds. You can choose from a selection of textures or even pictures to make your chat window stand out from the rest of your website. And finally, we've also added uh, options for setting team names and avatars in your chat to personalize your chat and hopefully reassure your customers that they're through to the right team and a team of people who can help them. So um, now you know a little bit more about these changes, let's take a look at them in action. Um, I will just pass over to David now and um, he'll show you what they look like. Alrighty, thank you very much there, Kay. Uh, just give me a moment here. Okay, alrighty. Everybody should be able to see uh, my desktop where I am currently showing a Firefox uh, web page. There we are, alrighty, beautiful. Okay, so with these changes that Kay has just introduced, uh, the first and foremost, the adaptive button, uh, you'll notice that just on your your administrator control panel here, uh, you're going to want to navigate through campaign, click on chat button, and then you'll have the three options to choose between the adaptive button, the image, and our standard text link. Uh, when just clicking on those, you can see that they are still, we've kept the legacy functionality there, just in case your, you know, your teams, your company uh, still prefers to keep uh, the older style. Uh, and then, of course, going with the adaptive button, you'll have a little preview of what the animation looks like, and then, of course, you'll actually see it as to what it looks like when it's offline. Making sure you're going to be saving your changes, of course, and fantastic. One little piece here that I would like to introduce that is new and uh, slightly a little bit more exciting, at least for, for those of the techies in the crowd, uh, is that you'll be able to see uh, this new mobile view. So just on the side here, this preview, the default preview button here actually shows what your buttons and your windows are going to look like on a regular desktop or laptop uh, computer. But if I click on the little cell phone here, we actually get to see what it's going to look like and feel like on a mobile device, whether that is an iPhone, an iPad, uh, an Android um, phone, or an Android tablet. So that's really kind of the standard here. Uh, modifying any of the color patterns. I know purple was a, a source of contention previously where we didn't really have a lot of uh, purple supported images. So now we can really just uh, change things on the fly and it's very lightweight and intuitive for all of our user base. So I'm just gonna keep it nice with my branded kind of demo here and we'll move on to the chat window. With inside the chat window, those three images, or sorry, the three new styles, uh, our classic, our circle, and what I like to call our bubble uh, chat, chat window style, are very selectable and easy to choose just right here within the chat window interface. Nothing too, too crazy or uh, uh, too ridiculous in order to apply these changes. Simply just choose the one that you prefer and then go ahead to, on, on from there. Uh, the one piece that I do want to point out right now, though, is the uh, the header information. With inside of the agent info, you can go ahead and choose to display your avatar. With inside of the little banner here, you can choose to display your title and your bio as well. All of this information is actually populated with inside of what we call the agent list. So I can just modify that information really quite easily here just inside of my big long agent list. 
that's just under my account here just in the top right and then just choosing your appropriate agent to add your avatars and modifying some names as well once you're done modifying your agent list and, and updating say some of your information here I can show you that right here this is where you would go ahead and add your title for your customer service reps and your bio now this is all very standard it we've kept that same functionality from uh, from our previous chat campaigns so it's just kind of a refresher for, for those of our, our newer folks. With inside of the chat window, it's also really important to note the three new textures, or sorry, the, uh, the five new textures that, that we have by default. With inside of uh, the, this texture uh, option, uh, you have the opportunity to change the background color for your chat window. This was a big source of contention for myself because I, I really felt like the, the stagnant kind of static white background for a chat, uh, a, a chat page was just a little bit too boring and so we really wanted to try to manipulate and, and provide some more flexibility there for, for people. Now I would like to take this opportunity to say if you have some feedback for us that you would like to see some additional colors maybe to be able to upload your own custom background here please contact your sales rep or our support team and let us know we want to improve the chat button as much as we possibly can uh, we want this chat interface to be exactly what you guys want. So with inside of the texture, you can go back to the, uh, you can simply turn it off to go back to our, our, your nice white standard, nice and clean, or simply go with one of our new textured fields. Now this is going to be applicable to both the classic and the circle options here. Uh, so you'll have the opportunity to view those. And then just to... Uh, showcase what that actually looks like here on the uh, the mobile presentation oh, we are you can see that displaying just perfectly alrighty so uh, let's take a look at this uh, once it's actually live on a page so I'm just going to choose our classic view for now I'm going to go back to my desktop presentation and I'm going to select our first default why don't I jazz this up a little bit with some title and some bio information and I'm going to click save. From here I'm just going to switch over to what this is actually going to look like for one of your visitors. Here we see the adaptive animation popping up. It minimizes itself nice into the background. And so if any of your, uh, your visitors go ahead to engage we can see that we've already received an auto invitation. These invitations can be turned off and I actually will be going through them in just a second. Right here I'm just going to click the type to start. You of course can provide some uh, the pre-chat form information as I'm sure many of you are aware of but I'm just going to bypass that just because I don't want to get into that at this moment. So I'm just going to click on the start chatting and we can see that it's still displaying my name uh, as well as my title and the uh, my bio information here as well. If I were to go back here and actually just maybe we want to go into the circle styling, I'm just going to click Save Changes, and I'm going to go back here into my view. I'm going to refresh the page. We can see that it's now changed over into the nice new little bubble sort, or sorry, the the circle styling. So that's kind of the window styles in a nutshell. Uh, we've really tried our best to, to update it and make it a little bit more fluid uh, and proactive, to be perfectly honest. Uh, and I, I really love the new stylings. I think they're a, a, big, uh, a big improvement over some of our, our older styles. All right. I, the next piece here I, I'd like to quickly jump into is actually the pre-chat form and some of the, uh, the banner images that Kay had uh, mentioned previously. So if I'm just going to click on pre-chat just below here, you're going to notice that now the pre-chat form has this new banner section. What this banner section uh, is customizable with are these agent avatars that we can now uh, modify. We can either choose to have them there or not there. I personally, I love the way it just looks with a, you know, a nice static uh, text field there where it just has the team name. If we click save changes real quick, we can jump back into our chat. We're going to end this chat re really quick right here. Don't need to send it. And then just, oh, I'm going to refresh that page now. 
and pop her open. There you can see this is how it's going to really just you know standard look like with uh, without any of those avatars there. And actually, before I forget, I do want to show one cool little piece that was uh, giving a, a few of you a problem, where you have the option now to, after popping this little window out, so your chat window is now popped out into a separate window, we now have the ability to pop that window back in. Previously, we did not have such simple little functionality, uh, but I made sure that with this uh, visitor improvement project that we got that piece in there, so now it, uh, it functions quite quite a bit more uh, intuitively, I would say. That was a standing request from from a number of you, so I, I feel like this was a win for for the team. <laughs> Alrighty, just back over to our our control panel interface. Um, I'm just going to put those avatars back into the mix. I'm going to click Save Changes, and there we are. All right, now let's take a look at how it uh, how our chat window actually works with our bubble option here. So if I choose the bubble styling, I'm going to go Save Changes. You'll notice that none of the uh, none of the uh, the same fields or information in terms of who this agent is, what their name, their title, none of that, uh, none of those options are actually available here for the bubble styling. So if I actually go back into my little preview page here, I'm just going to refresh. I'm going to pop this open. We still have the option for the pre-chat form, as you'd expect, but now if I go to start chatting, we're going to see the ability where any sort of responses are just simply going to be bubbled up. This is nice in the, in the stance where it's a completely transparent and fluid engagement uh, for the conversation. So if I have my agent reply here, so I'm just replying this one, and I were to go to minimize this chat now. now. Let's say our agent sends a few more messages on through. We do see those notifications appear right on the bottom right-hand side of that screen. So this is, again, just trying to update the interface to, to a more... Uh, I would say current day uh, operation where similar to the way uh, a Facebook Messenger or another Android uh, or mobile uh, communication software works, we have this more intuitive app styling. We open that up, we can see all of our conversation history as such. Now you'll notice that this conversation is actually getting a little bit on the long side and we're starting to see some of these messages are going off the screen even. Well, we've thought of that we have the ability to also scroll through all of the messages that have been received you can still pop it out even and we can again continue to scroll through the messages as such so there's a I, there we've really tried to to think of the intuitive flexible way here for the way our visitors and our clients like to interact with the chat and yeah and this is kind of what we've come up with in terms of the uh, the bubble option here okay that's Close this guy off. All right. So uh, back into our control panel here. We're, let's go over some of the invitation stylings. The invitations have taken a little bit of a change now. We've tried to introduce a new uh, bubble invitation, if you will, which looks exactly like that. So with our adaptive button, if you have the adaptive button uh, chosen, I should say, then you'll also have the option to invite proactively, mind you, uh, any of your visitors to chat with one of your agents. You can switch between, say, the different stylings here through the current invitation style, and we'll just click on switch. You can see where we have now bubble, the pop invitation, which was the more classic view, or simply just open up a chat window uh, to start discussing anything with, uh, with your visitors right in real time. So let's actually, we've already seen this uh, proactively right now, but let's just see it kind of one more time with our chat button. Okay, so we're just going to minimize. And so this is what the uh, that new bubble auto-invitation looks like. And we feel, again, this is something that's a lot more intuitive and, and in less in, uh, and more invasive, I should say, uh, in terms of engaging with your visitors uh, within real time. If we want to go with more and more, more classic approaches here, we can simply go into the pop-up invitation, 
press OK. And then this is kind of your standard, what we previously had uh, in terms of the, the invitation stylings. If we want to then say save changes, and you can see that, we should be able to see this guy, and you have it as such. So we've really tried to keep the old legacy functionality there so it isn't such a jarring experience that all of our clients have the opportunity to kind of test and play around with the functionality. But then we've also tried to provide the new uh, new and improved functionality for those of you that do want to kind of uh, update and, and take a you make use of, uh, of our new features. So I'm just going to switch that back over to bubble, press save, and there we are. Uh, those are the main primary pieces that I wanted to really cover here. I think they, they cover all of our chat window, our chat button, uh, new features at NUI, and then of course the new pre-chat uh, banner images as well. So that's, that's uh, yeah, th those are our big changes in a nutshell. And yeah, I'll pass it on over to Kay again. That's fantastic. Um, David, thank you for sharing such an informative and helpful demo of our new functionality. Um, it is great to see it finally live on our interface. We've been working on this for quite a while um, and it's just exciting to see it live. Um, I hope that all of you watching are similarly excited to get stuck in um, and engaging with these new changes as well. Now, um, we are running in very good time. Uh, so we do have quite a bit of time for your questions. Um, so if you do have any questions, feedback, comments, anything that you might like to ask David and I, just type them into the questions area of your GoToWebinar interface and we'll be able to answer them. Uh, so yeah, feel free to get stuck in. I'm just going to mute myself while, um, while we wait for some questions. I'm just seeing here that we've got a quick question come through from Erica, um, just regarding having somebody from the team reach out. Erica, I will arrange for somebody to reach out to you via email today. Glenn, thank you very much for your question. Um, so we will be sending a copy um, of the webinar recording within about 24 hours. I would expect to see that um, hitting your inbox uh, with, within, I guess, about uh, 10, 12 hours, something like that. But I'm going to say 24 just to be on the absolute safe side. Uh, so yes, and that will include uh, the, the full recording of the webinar with the presentation slides included. Alrighty, we've got another question here. Uh, this one from Erica as well. Uh, from the consumer side, can they X out of an adaptive button so it stops pulsing? Uh, currently, the uh, the pulsing for the adaptive button is hard coded. It is meant to pulse just to remind the visitor that it is still there. They have the option to uh, to engage in a chat with a uh, with an agent. Uh, if you would like us to, you know turn that pulsing off or maybe have it uh, set to a time value. That is certainly feedback that I can pass over to the rest of the product team uh, and we can, we'd we be happy to, to work with that. Um, I love this kind of feedback. I if you if you really really need this to be changed, uh, we are happy to to accommodate and, and work through uh, through something on a compromised basis if need be. Ah, 
Great question here from Andy. Uh, what are the time delay options for a pop-up asking if a customer needs any assistance? Uh, that's actually a completely dynamic uh, value that you, the, the administrator of the chat, uh, have the option of, of choosing. It can be 10 seconds, 20 seconds, a minute. Um, you'll notice in the auto invitation stylings that uh, you can actually set that to be, uh, if it's the person's second visit, if it's their third visit, uh, if they've stayed on the same page for, say, a period of a minute even, um, that uh, I would say about 30 seconds or a minute is a pretty standard option that uh, that our clients will choose. And, and yeah, Andy, there, there's a whole lot of flexibility here. Uh, and if you'd like so, some more information, uh, we'd be happy to reach out to you and uh, provide you a secondary call afterwards. All right, we've got another question here. Can the customer request a copy of the conversation by email after the chat is finished? Yes, absolutely. We actually have the, the ability to, uh, to either provide that functionality so that an agent uh, can automatically send that, that, uh, that transcript over, or the, the visitor uh, can request a, the chat transcript after the, the conversation is over. It's, it's really up to uh, the administrator of the, of the COM100 live chat solution uh, to configure this. You, you have the ability to turn that on and off at will. Uh, quite easily, I might add, it is literally just a little checkbox. Is there a way, oh, another question, sorry. Is there a way to disable this function if our customer don't want this pop-up on their home banking? Absolutely. You do not have to have auto invitations by any means. Uh, they're meant to simply be a proactive invitation styling uh, for some of our, our clients. Uh, typically, those, uh, those clients of ours that are in the finance industry, don't go with a proactive uh, chat. I, I completely understand that. Uh, and they simply like to have the chat button on the bottom right-hand corner uh, to leave it stagnant and static for, for people to choose. So it, you can turn auto invitations on or off. Uh, again, it's, it's really up to the, the administrator of the chat uh, to control this functionality. So lots of flexibility there. Okay, I'm not seeing any more questions come in. Uh, we'll give it a few minutes just because we do have a few more minutes left on today's webinar. I, I will again take this opportunity opportunity to say uh, to everyone still on the line, um, if you have feedback for us, whether it's um, you know, you, the textures and the backgrounds for the chat window, maybe you want to see some new ones or you would like to be able to upload your own textures, please let us know. Um, you can contact our, our sales team at sales at com100.com. Uh, let us know that you want these things or don't want them. Uh, and it's with that feedback, that really gives me uh, the the information I need to go back to the rest of the product team uh, and really customize this product that's to suit everyone's needs. Um, yeah, it, and actually a, a little piece of uh, information that is only going to be provided for, for everybody here. Uh, the new, the avatars that we have currently displayed uh, in our live chat system, those same old, uh, the, the woman with the chat headset and, and everything, uh, we are actually working on a project to update and upgrade all of those avatars to be, I would say, a little bit more in the uh, the new 2000s era. I personally feel like they're, they're still something out of the 1990s, but you know, it's, uh, we're working with the marketing team to, to make sure that these guys get upgraded, because uh, I, I think they could use a bit of a facelift. All right. Um. Okay, we've got a great question here. Uh, did I see on the backgrounds a link to create your own using CSS? Uh, you actually saw the link to, to modify um, the entire chat window itself. We have a built-in CSS editor uh, where if you click on the CSS editor itself, it'll display all of the current um, 
uh, tags and configurations uh, for the chat window and then you have the option and, and ability uh, if you so chose to to modify the size of the header the background image uh, the size of the chat um, uh, tab itself you can really modify and, and play around with it as much as you as you like um, we have a, a knowledge base article as well that, that goes over some of the CSS editor functionality uh, if you like us to reach out to you, we'd be happy to provide some more information uh, after this uh, this webinar as well. Okay, uh, we've got a nice big long question. Give me a moment to read this off. So a uh, great question here from Amanda. Uh, as an admin, if we want the auto invitation set up, but only a handful of customers visiting our site do not want this to be popping up after a certain time frame, uh, is there a way they can change that setting on their side to not have that come up? I assume that it's all it's an all or nothing thing, but wanted to ask. Uh, Amanda, great question. Uh, this is really up to the, uh, the administrator of the chat site. It is not a, uh, a definable piece here. Uh, from a visitor perspective, but uh, I would say kind of the, the common ground here is that from a chat administrator perspective, you can have uh, the auto invitation structured uh, in such a way that if the user, if the visitor is logged in, if they have um, uh, satisfied additional constraints such as uh, they've been on the site for X amount of time, uh, maybe they've had X amount of page views, maybe they're part of something called our VIP visitor segmentation, uh, so that they're a different classification of visitor, uh, you can actually have all of your invitations set up uh, uniquely just for this type of scenario. Uh, so not to get too technical for this one, uh, it, you can have multiple different condition statements for auto invitations uh, to be able to send them, um, uh, to send the invitations to a subset of uh, of your visitors. Uh, so there's all of this is controlled on the uh, the administrator side. It is not part of the uh, the visitor um, option there to to have that controlled from the visitor perspective. I, I hope that that answers your question. Uh, and Amanda, if you again, if you'd like some more information or clarification, uh, I'd be happy to send out some uh, some links or or a follow up call uh, after this webinar as well. I I think now as we are just past half past eleven, I think we're going to need to bring this to a close. It has been a fantastic session. Thank you all for your time, for coming on this webinar, and for all of the fantastic questions that you've been asking us. Um, I know that quite often um, you go on webinars and then you come up with questions only afterwards when you actually can't ask them uh, face to face, as it were. Um, so if you do have any burning questions you would like to get answered, feel free to contact us. We are more than happy to, uh, to, to help you out there. Um, if you'd like to contact me directly, my email is k at com one com. Always very, very happy to, to, to help you out. Um, otherwise, you can always contact our sales team, sales at com100.com. They'd be more than happy to, to, to help you out as well. All right. Thank you so much for attending. David, thank you for your help with this. And um, it's been a pleasure. I hope you will have a fantastic day. Bye.